Hi, I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Joe Beretta. What's up? George Watsky! George Watsky, everybody. We got, a, we got a special guest on the couch today. He's gonna Yay. he's gonna help us uh, reap the comments from <laughs> the ones that you gave us. It's gonna be amazing. He's gonna partake in witty banter. Ruin everything clever that could be said. <laughs> terrible puns. Oh, it's gonna oh, be good. You've seen all the good apparently. stuff. Terrible <laughs> yeah. puns? You've been watching. No, I'm just angling for a job. <laughs> <laughs> And now it's that time of the show where we uh, change our Facebook banner. Who is it, George? Who is it? Sean Powers. What? Sean Powers. What? what? We could double up on the SourceFed posters. Yeah. 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 We should triple up. Maybe quadruple up. Get some of them that are signed by all of us. I think at this point. Joe's having a stroke. <laughs> Do you ever have moments where you have a product in your shot and people think that you're being underwritten by that product? All the time. It's a, isn't that annoying? Oh, I was trying to find a sponsorship that matched my uh, brand as a rapper and I figured Amy's Organic Foods, they're like, <laughs> food. and so I actually, I like Did attacked, I attacked their branding department, I was like, I tried to like flood their Facebook page, I hit them up so hard to the point where they were basically like, please leave us alone, <laughs> you, you swear too much, your music is too sexual in nature, we're a family brand, like, don't associate yourself with us ever. It was horrible actually, I got completely rejected by them. So Amy's, f*** you and I love you, all of the above, Baby's please respond to me. <laughs> Desperate for your attention and approval. Uh, I've sent you 17 Facebook messages. Your macaroni and cheese is delicious. <laughs> your enchiladas also. See, they're getting free advertising. Dude, I know, right that's what I'm saying. Now, right now. It's better advertising if you actually believe in the brand. Check out these other <laughs> Facebook pictures. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence and the other Oscar winners. We did an Oscar recap to uh, start off the week, and we asked you guys who should have won and who didn't. What are your opinions on movies? Because everybody likes talking about movies. Michael Campbell said, I was extremely pissed that Walt Disney had their hands in three of the five choices for best animated film. I mean, really? Come on. Oh, all right. Okay. okay. Wreck-It yeah. Ralph was the first movie I ever went to see I, completely by myself. My wife was out of town, and I was like, oh, I've heard going to the movies is really cathartic How by yourself. How curvy did but you look? very. Uh, <laughs> I got there kind of late, and it was already filled with children. Did you like, wear a black kids. hoodie? I did. <laughs> Hood up like this and sunglasses like Corey Feldman. How we were See, I feel about like me really. and you could almost not to say that you look young, but I, as someone who looks young, uh, you know, I fit in in those crowds. Mm -hmm. so you can kind of get away with it. I rollerbladed to the Alexandria <laughs> Theater to go see Shrek alone in like yeah. sixth grade, and I remember feeling very. Uh, was it cool then, or did you feel? Yeah, sad? I felt like a big kid because I was doing things by myself. Well, were you on the yeah. cusp of rollerblading still being cool, or was it already not cool? Well, rollerblading by has always been and will always be cool. So <laughs> whatever you were insinuating, tuck it away. I'm not kidding. No, rollerblading was one of the <laughs> worst accidents I ever had. Whenever you see someone eat it on a bike, you're like, oh, are you okay? Whenever you see someone eat it rollerblading, Did you you're die? like, are you all right? It was a very hard tumble that I had right before fourth grade pictures. Well, that's a vulnerable band. time. <laughs> Big Bubba 210 says, Steven Spielberg should win an award every year for Jurassic Park. Yes! Boom. Yeah. You know what I learned? Those freaking raptors at the end of that scene are- they're Those are people! Suits. That's yeah. how come it looks so real. It yeah. creeps me out. The moment in Dark Crystal, I think it was the Skeksis. I'm a nerd out right now. Its chest collapses and it disintegrates. Mm -hmm. It's like one of the, most, like the most amazing yeah, moments in it like is. puppetry. If you're looking for amazing moments in puppetry, Skeksis' chest collapses. <laughs> Dude, you have no idea how many messages we get. Can you tell me some amazing moments in puppetry? <laughs> puppetry yeah, absolutely. There's a lot oh. of penis and <laughs> comments. Yeah. Yeah. Pardon Halsey says, maybe I'm just a hater, but I hate Daniel Day-Lewis. I wish Bradley Ooh. Cooper would have won. He played a crazy guy. Crazy always gets the gold. That moment in the Oscars with Daniel Day-Lewis and Bradley Cooper and they're showing all the actors, the best one is Joaquin Phoenix when it's, it cuts to Joaquin <laughs> Phoenix and he's like, <laughs> That scene in The Master, where he's being interviewed by Philip Seymour Hoffman, is so crazy. It's incredible. The movie itself is really boring. Didn't say that the movie was awful, but that was Before I saw The Master, everyone was hyping up the jerk-off scene to me, where his wife jerks him off. And I and I went into it, because yeah, she comes around the back. Yeah, I'm sorry, you guys. She comes around the back, and she's like, for me. I don't know if I can say this on SourceFed. Anyway, it's really gnarly. Well, it's not that gnarly, but I was really psyched for the movie because everyone said it was gnarly. And then I saw it, I was like, that was the tamest jerk-off scene I've ever seen. <laughs> I've seen a lot yeah. of jerk-off scenes. Trust me, I had. I had wiped that from my brain. But the acting in that jerk-off scene was no, top-notch. I have to assume that they did it on set. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was very convincing. Fun fact, Daniel Day-Lewis was in that scene. <laughs> he was the wiener. He played Amy Adams. <laughs> Gold! <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Oven shoots woman! A woman was like, yay, waffles! And then some bullets were like, screw your waffles, I'm finna shoot you. Is it finna? Finna, <laughs> finna shoot, finna shoot you. Yeah. Fitting to. Oh, it's a contraction for fitting to. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. this is. Very hip hop contraction. I'm learning. I learned that word from listening to Watsky. Oh, finna. look out. Yeah. Full circle, kids. Will finna. you say it properly? Finna, fitna. You could just. 
Gunna. Gunna works too. Okay, well then I'm gonna say Gunna. <laughs> but no, but, but Gunna. No, I would say I would say Gunna is sort of the same, but Finna implies intent. Gunna is this is going to happen. Finna. This is going to happen because I want it to happen. So if it was in a court of law, they would go with Finna, yeah. uh, the prosecuting attorney. Exactly. We asked you guys, what's a time that reminded you how fragile life is? How did you? That's... I don't know. I once rescued a baby owl in San Francisco. <laughs> I realized life was fragile at that point. I was drunkenly running away from the police at a, for a high school party. <laughs> and, I, an owl. And, I, and I kicked something on the ground, and I looked down and I realized it was an, a baby owl with a broken wing. <laughs> There's so much backstory leading up to saving it. Yeah, and so me and my friend drunkenly brought it to the animal shelter at like <laughs> two in the morning, and we asked them if it was gonna make it, and they said, oh, we, we really don't know, but we named it Herb. I know so what that, that's I don't, Can I, is it gonna make it, Herb? No. Is Herb gonna make it? Wait, let's there. get, why were you running from the police? Because they were chasing me. <laughs> this is, this is I, don't know, I was 17. I was, we were at the beer garden. The most fun part of the night is when the police come and make you leave okay. for some reason. I don't know. And why. you just run every time. Oh, oh my god, the police are coming! Everybody get away! It's like a deleted scene of Project X. Matthew Perez says, I put bullets in my oven so people don't use my oven without asking. Same with my toaster. Lego my ego, bitch. <laughs> Ever almost died? I one time almost fell in the Grand Canyon. I very vaguely remember. There's a part where there's no railing, because they have parked with no railing, I guess, at the Grand Canyon, or they did at one point. And we were visiting it, and the Grand Canyon is like a 10 minute oh, yeah. experience, because you look at it, and then you're like, cool, and you leave. Uh, and I reached down, and I started like, literally like slide and my dad grabbed me. Yeah. Yeah. I do remember there was one time I was in the movie theater and I had uh, gotten some lemon drops that I was really aggressively attacking. And I was choking on one hard, like hard. Like I literally like had to stand up and walk out you of the movie theater. Panic. And I was like, oh my God, this is it. I'm gonna go on a lemon <laughs> drop. And I remember my brother saved my life. He hired wow. me and I spit it out. But it was one of those things that I was like, Ugh. and for the first 12 seconds, he was laughing his ass off going, <laughs> are you choking? Oh my God. God, are you joking? He saved you. That's amazing. He saved me. My yeah. mom's version of the Heimlich, and I experienced this three times because I choked on a marble three times <laughs> when I was younger, was not the uh, go around and do that. It was open my jaw with one hand, take her long bony finger, <laughs> go down my Damn. throat, and scoop the marble out. My mom saved my life three times That's from crazy. choking on a marble. Why are you eating Fun I fat. don't Marbles. know. Fun the cat's fat. eyes look delicious. I'll George, you almost ever die? All my near-death experiences are so lame. It's like, oh, I was texting in the rain or something. <laughs> <laughs> I, really oh, I was driving. I was really hoping you were gonna say gang related. No, mine are all real soft ways to go. Yeah, I was driving and doing something I shouldn't have and I almost swerved off the road. So let me be a lesson. Don't be an idiot. Don't text while driving in the rain on black ice roads. PSA. <laughs> student films teacher stealing from students. Secret agent sophomore Justine Betty filmed a teacher stealing cash from students' backpack. Joseph Saduth says, I would beat her over the head with a Taco Bell burrito if I could ever get over my love of eating food, that is. <laughs> Two problems. One, Taco Bell burrito <laughs> is not gonna hurt someone. Two, it's not food. <laughs> oh, oh, I will Respect. say this, like, Taco Bell is not to be eaten sober. It's not, that's, I think that's one of the biggest things. It's like whenever you eat it, if you're like, you're like, this is not, during the daytime, this well, it's, is it's it's not a good meal, decision. Right? Yeah, fourth it's a fourth meal, right? Yeah, it's true. Can I vent a little bit? Yeah. What is their name? <laughs> Chef Lorena Garcia. No! Thank you! F*** that sh Oh, yeah. that's you. whack. You're selling out your culture. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be telling you what to do, but that's weak sauce. Thank you. We're going to put a little aguacate in it because it's like, no, f*** you. Are you serious? That's a girl. You should be ashamed of yourself. And I'm not even the one who should be telling you that. I hope you're getting a lot of angry emails. It was disgusting. Damn it. I've sent you angry Twitter messages and you haven't responded. <laughs> All these food companies just don't respond to you. Yeah, yeah but Dear Amy's is more like I feel spurned. Lorena Garcia, like literally, <laughs> I don't send out trolling messages a lot, but you have got my 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 fire going. Holy crap! It's Wait, are you are teachers. you tweeting at Taco Bell or no? Lorena, Lorena Garcia, I yeah. found her. Yeah, she's verified. You found her? Yeah, she's she's <laughs> she's verified. Yeah, apparently she's like a celebrity chef or something. But you're infamous. That's not a good thing. Uh. <laughs> Let's find a Latina woman who's willing to disgrace herself and her culture for our shitty Mexican food. There's a lot of talented people that aren't verified, and Lorena Garcia's got a little blue check mark, so yeah, the oh. world's does not always fair. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching Comment Commentary. That yes. is it. Uh -huh. That is it. We're done. We're not doing Stop any more. Stop asking more. There's no encore. That's it. It's Get off done. of our backs. Yes. Uh. Uh, hey, I'd like to thank George Watsky for hanging yeah. out with us. Thanks for letting yes, me hang. Thank you. Yeah. This is actually really fun. It was wonderful. Uh, this is the part of the time. show where you get to just 
talk about yourself? What are you doing? What should all those people go click on? What should they go check out? So I have a new album coming out in 12 days. It's called Cardboard Castles and I've been working on it for like three years. In four days, you can listen to it for free if you're on the fence about whether to buy it on rapgenius.com. And then I go on tour in eight days. I start oh, in man. Tempe, Arizona, and then I play 50 shows over the next three months. Oh my goodness. I'm on the road for a long time and I'm coming to 35 cities across the US, and then we're going to Europe. Mm -hmm. So I, w I have a copy of my album, can I show them? Yes, yes. Yeah, everything. It's called Cardboard Castles, because when I was Look little, at that, that's awesome. Look at that. So here's the deal, it looks like a castle. That's um, amazing. It's called Cardboard Castles, and then it folds out like this. What? No, Check it out, we were on some next level craft shop. Oh, it's great. And then that's it becomes, awesome. It becomes a castle. Cardboard castle. castle. Isn't that pretty cool? Dude, that's awesome. That's pretty sick. And uh, you've, you've successfully made me feel so bad about myself. <laughs> I don't do anything. He's touring the world. Work. We'll be here every hey. Friday on this couch. There's, there's no guarantee people will show up to the show, so you know it's possible I'll just be I bet they will. Then get tickets well, and show up so. to yeah, the show. Yeah. Georgewatsky.com slash tours where all of the dates are listed. There's a little booklet inside. It's got instructions on how to build a catapult because there's no point building a castle if you can't knock it yeah. down. <laughs> it's called Cover Castles because I used to make these things when I was like nine. I was like a little crafter kid and uh, my parents never amazing. threw it out. So here's some like tastes of it. That right there. In this the is upper. your stuff. This is your stuff. These are this things is... that I actually made when I was little. Oh, my parents didn't throw out. Great. But anyway, it's got like lyrics and shit. This is the deluxe package, and it's available on my website, georgewatsky.com. Anyway, I don't really like pimping out my my wares. But that's so. amazing. But, oh, and amazing also that we is. we carpool and we've blared Watsky numerous. Yeah. Times. Specifically, the song off of his new album, which is Moral of a Story. Check out a clip of the video right here. Yeah. You're not my Venice. Cover number one, not a top five finish. You can have a chicken pot pie, but I'm thinking that I'm gonna have another can of Popeye spinach. I'm a Rottweiler. Pop my collar when I pop my fur. You're on my nerves, but mark my words. Gotta put a leg up and then mark my turf. Work, 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 work. Our moral of the story is work, 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 work. Our moral of the story is real quick question on that. That video is one almost one take, right? It's all it's just one take. It's just one yeah, take. It's a That's one awesome. taker video. How how much rehearsal? How long did it take? How many uh, takes did you? do before you finally got it. We did five takes of the Moral of the Story video. It was really hard to do and made me never want to do a one take choreographed video again. Yeah. It's just like painstaking. You're dancing I, in it and everything. Yeah, my dancing wasn't as overwhelmingly positively received as I wanted it to be. <laughs> <laughs> I practiced in my mirror a lot actually to get my like little little things down. People were a little lukewarm on my dancing. <laughs> But you know, you learn from your uh, your feedback, and so maybe not a lot of heavily choreographed Bieber-esque moves in the future. But yeah, it's uh, 16 tracks, 17 if you count the secret bonus track that I'm not supposed to talk about. <laughs> it's got cool people on it like Dylan Saunders, who's in the group Star Kid, and Kate Nash, who's this awesome English singer-songwriter. It comes out March 12th. Give it a chance for free on rapgenius.com this Tuesday. Tour tickets are on sale now at georgewatsky.com slash tour. And if you don't want to do any of those things, then I love you anyway. <laughs> oh, oh. but you should. Holy you should crap. do most of those things. I just, can we applaud Mr. Yeah. Thanks Absolutely. for having me, Mr. Waskin. Fantastic. Absolutely. Thank you to the nation. Thank you to SourceFed. Mm -hmm. Keep on Slimer. Thinking. We're gonna do a slow. Um, thanks for I watching Common Commentary. All the ghosts and all the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. Oh God, please, um, yes. All the tremor beasts. Yeah, naturally. Um, gremlins, Lee, gremlins, gremlins. 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 I want to mm -hmm. thank Chucky, the bride of Chucky. Actually, well, um, the show is over. The show's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Go home. Thanks for watching. Come, come, Jerry. Bye. Bye. Bye.